Welcome to this tutorial on some of the best technical indicators for swing trading. I want to share with you a um, really powerful indicator that is not that well known, but uh, hey, sometimes that's the best stuff. You need an edge in trading and using something that others don't use can definitely give you an edge. So let's talk about that. The indicator I want to share with you today is the double stochastic. It's right down here. I'll highlight that for you. And there's the settings, 10 and 3. Now, I am using Stock Fetcher here. That's the charting platform that you have in front of you. In my previous videos, we've had two or three videos using Stock Fetcher, so I figured, oh, we'll use it one more time here. And they do have the double stochastic built in. Now, some charting platforms do, some don't. Uh, depending on which charting platform you use, it may or may not. And therefore, ask your charting platform provider if they do offer it or not. I, I don't have this to send to you. It's just something that either your charting software has or doesn't. Or another option you can do is a lot of times user forums for various software will um, we'll have indicators you can download. So anyway, just wanted to address that because whenever I talk about an indicator like this that's not very common, I always get people emailing me saying, hey, can you send that indicator to me? Well, this is not something I, I could send to you. It's got to be programmed for your charting platform and hopefully it's built in. Okay, so it is a type of stochastic. I'm not going to go into the mathematics of it. That's not our point here today. But you can see, oh, and by the way, I'm also using it in conjunction with a 14 period CCI. And we're using a daily chart. So this is a daily chart. You can see the stock that we're using here, although I will say that this could also be used for uh, futures and Forex as well. This is not specific to the stock market. And what else? Oh, I wouldn't recommend trading this or frankly anything unless you confirm it with a higher time frame using multiple time frames. Okay, now having said that, what are we looking for? So first of all, I'm looking for my moving averages to line up and this helps me to determine trend. The primary moving average that I use for trend is the 50 period simple moving average. So you can see the four moving averages there, and uh, that is the 50 period simple moving average. It just says MA, but it is simple. And that's my purple line here. So that's what I'm looking for. So I want to trade this in the direction of the trend. And we're going to use this as an oscillator. And here is the pattern that I'm looking for. So here we have it, as you can see, below the, and by the way, yes, we have uh, upper and horizontal lines here. Those are set at 20 and 80. So this level is, let's see, we'll mark it over here at 20, and then the one up here is at 80. So we're looking for it to come back above, and when it does, then that is a potential buy signal. Now, I wouldn't short this uh, here, so now here, of course, it gets below 80. So would I short that? No, why? Because I wanna trade this in the long-term direction of the market. And right now, the long-term direction of the market is up based on the 50 period simple moving average. So that's the first thing I want to say. An oscillator measures short term moves and we need to trade it in conjunction with a long term indication. So the long term indication is the meta pattern. That is the direction we're going to trade in. Then we use the short term oscillators such as this one to catch entries or to trigger us into entries, but only in the direction of the long-term move. So that's really, really important. That's where we're going to get our reward to risk ratio. So for example, if you took this signal short here, well, yeah, I mean, that I guess is kind of a high, <laughs> but not a good reward to risk ratio, right? Boom, it comes only down that far, then this comes down back below 20, goes back above 20, and that's not a good trade. On the other hand, this is a great trade. Boom, it explodes up. And that's what you want. And by the way, notice too, that after it explodes up, um, it doesn't get back down to below 20 until way over here. So yep, here it gets below 80, but then it stays around the middle of the range. Doesn't get down below 20 until over here. Most people will call 80, 20, overbought, oversold. I hate those terms. I don't think they're accurate. And so I don't use those terms. But um, so this really indicates that again, uh, the point is we're trading just using, again, putting these two tools together, a long-term directional indicator, whether you want to use the 50 period simple moving average, or if you have another one you like, that's great. But that's the first step. Always use a long-term indicator to determine which 
direction you want to trade because a trend, by the way, the definition of trend is the extended general direction. So trend is never a short term move. By definition, Webster's Dictionary, it is an extended direction of the market. And that's not just to be uh, a stickler of the English language. It's important in trading because we want to trade in the long term direction because we want a good reward to risk ratio. So the, the longer the direction, the better reward we get. And so there's a financial reason for that, obviously. All right. So that's why we only use the oscillators in the direction of long term move. Again, now, if you look over here, the next signal after it pops back above, so it goes back down below 20, pops back above 20 would be here. And does it go up from there? Yes, it does. And again, we are now it comes down a little bit below the 50 MA, but the 50 MA is still angling up. And so, well, it goes off the screen here, but it actually did continue to make higher highs after this. And and that's it. So this is a way now I never would trade any one indicator by itself. So again, three steps and basic three steps. I would probably use more than this. And my personal methodology I use five. But here are the basic three steps. Again, number one, trade in the long term direction of the market. And I will also add another part one B to that. When we're trading in the direction of the trend, we want to trade early in a new trend, early in a new trend. So that's very important because, well, the famous slogan, the trend is your friend until the end, right? So we don't want to trade at the end. That's when it's our enemy. So it's not just in the direction of the long term move. It's early. So we're early in a new trend. Number two, once we get that established, then we use an oscillator such as the double stochastic here, which is a nice one. And we're using that to trigger us in the direction of that long term trend, only trading in that direction. And then number three, don't forget use multiple time frames really important using multiple time frames um, helps you to stay out of otherwise really good looking setups have you ever had the experience where you trade some setups that look really great and they don't work out you know, if that happens once in a while that's not a problem but if it happens consistently you got a big problem so one way to help avoid that is to filter those otherwise good looking trade setups with the longer term chart. And real quick, I'll just give you a little piece of advice there. I am not a believer in trading in the direction of trend of the long term time frame. I think that's just a disastrous approach. It is classic. It is the orthodox approach and it makes no logical sense whatsoever. I have another video on that, by the way, if you're interested. So we trade in the direction of momentum of the longer term time frame. And uh, the basic reason is trend is always a lagging indicator. And if you're using it on a longer term chart, then it's double slow. And it's just always going to be slow to the party to confirm your trades. So it becomes pretty much useless. Trading momentum, on the other hand, if we are trading, for example, uh, we we'll use a little different um, signal here. So if we're trading this long, what we want is momentum on the longer term time frame. Momentum is strength strength, right? We want power strength on that long term move. And by the way, I didn't mention it, but the CCI here, um, notice that it is kicking up here as well, right? It's making a higher high at this same time. And CCI is a momentum indicator. And so that shows we got momentum on the short term. And then if we look at our long term trend, you can use CCI as your long term um, indicator as well if you want to. Then we have actually I've got it here. Oh, I, I should show you this. Let's see if we can get this on the screen here. Uh, yes, we can. Yay. OK, <laughs> so I actually have the weekly CCI on the same chart. This is one of the cool things about um, stock fetcher. You can do that. So if you look at this, that's exactly what we've got. We've got CCI as our long term momentum indicator moving up as well. And so that's the perfect scenario. Muy bien. Ausgezeichnet. Sehr gut. Yes, we love that. OK, so that's those are three simple steps. And if you want to add a short term momentum as well as your long term momentum, hey, I think that's actually a great way to go. That way you have strength on both the short term and the long term. So think of that. If you get major strength on your short term chart, that's bullish and major strength on the long term chart. That's bullish. Odds are that market's going to move up. That's what we want. Strength, strong buying power. So if you like this video, if you found it helpful, then uh, feel free to leave a nice comment just to encourage me to continue to create these free tutorials for you. Give it a thumbs up. 
the best thing you could do really that I love would be to share it with others. And uh, I don't get any financial benefit from that, but it, uh, it does help other people and, you know, paying it forward is the ultimate uh, compliment. So if you can share it with others and you feel good about that, I would really appreciate that. And in addition to that, I do have some, another gift I want to give you, and that is actually a little mini course I put together. And this little mini course I'll give you absolutely free. And in that course, I actually give you a complete trade methodology. It's called the rubber band trade. And similar to this, but a little more sophisticated. And I go through the whole trade setup step by step, and I show you exactly where to get in, exactly where to place your stops, exactly where to exit. So it's it's a little longer video, obviously. It's about three times as long as one of these short 10 minute YouTube videos, but that gives me the time to give you the entire trade methodology. So like I said, it's called the rubber band trade. Go ahead and click the um, little image in the top right hand corner of this video uh, or description below. There's also a link and um, I'll be happy to um, go ahead. And as soon as I receive your request, send you a, a video of that trade absolutely free my gift to you.